Governor Josh Green lost two more of his appointed cabinet members today. His nominee is to lead the state planning office and the Department of Business and Economic Development failed to win approval in the state Senate, while two others were easily confirmed. Daryl Huff has the details from the state capitol. This was the biggest day so far for Governor Green's cabinet, and the debate on the Senate floor revolved around the biggest issues facing the state today. Governor Green was not in the chamber today as four appointees faced Senate votes. Scott Glenn, appointed to the Office of Planning and Sustainable Development, had significant support. He'll make great contributions in helping the state deal with the many things that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, as, as global warming gets worse. But other senators said he mishandled the closing of the state's last coal-fueled electric plant as director of the Office of Energy, leading to higher energy costs, and that he wasn't truthful about it during confirmation. Members, we all make mistakes. That is forgivable. Trying to cover it up is not. The vote on Glenn was a 12-12 cliffhanger, oh, one nice. vote short of confirmation. The nominee for governor's message 506 fails to be confirmed. And there was accusation that you had lied to them. Would you like to respond to that? Um, I'd rather not. I think that's that everyone has their thoughts and just leave it at that. The nominee for business and economic development, Chris Sadiasu, only got eight votes after multiple missteps managing tourism during his first months in the position. He is not ready to lead one of the most important departments in the state during this time of economic uncertainty. On the other hand, Keith Regan as state comptroller and Kali Watson for the Department of Hawaiian Homelands won nearly unanimous support. First thing I'm going to do is get houses up. You know, we're going to accelerate the development process. Either way, up, down, in, out. But we gotta, we got to move forward with housing. It's way overdue. Despite the two wins, the governor expressed disappointment. Two other very good people with impeccable track records and almost universal support from the community were rejected. All four should have been approved for the good of the state today. And there's more to come. Confirmation hearings for the state land director and the attorney general have not even been scheduled yet. Reporting from the state capitol, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.